we consult you. We answer your questions, but you choose. You choose you want to apply to Semmelweis University or okay, take Semmelweis, good. I don't tell you to go to Semmelweis. I don't tell you to go to another university in Hungary. We have four universities, four medical universities. I do not insist you to go to Czech Republic, Prague, or to go to Slovakia, or to go to United Kingdom in London or Malta. We help you to get to any of these universities. One thing I tell you and I recommend you, which I did last uh, meeting also, and I repeat it, is that please, we recommend you apply to more than one universities. That's what I recommend. Which more than one? It's up to you. We help you. Sir, why should I apply to more than one university? Because <clears throat> unlike many countries, unlike Iran, unlike Canada, unlike United Kingdom, uh, which we have a central entrance examination system, unlike Italy, you take one exam, only one exam. In Italy, you take IMAT. In, 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 in Canada, you apply through a system for many universities. In England, you apply through UCAS, UCAS to 100 universities. It's in Iran, you take the exam. She was saying that she applied two times and she couldn't get into dentistry. She took central exam. And probably in Vietnam or in India is also central. In Europe, it is not mainly. Each university decides for itself. So, I can apply to Semmelweis and to Seged University. I get admitted to Semmelweis with good marks, but I don't get admitted to Seged. Possible. I apply to Semmelweis and Seged. I'm not admitted to any of them. Possible. Or I am admitted to both of them. Possible. What we say is that we cannot see, foresee exactly 100% the future. I've told you previous times. We had some very good students. You don't know. I was sick last week. <clears throat> I got cold. It, it is possible, God forbidden, but it is possible that one night before the exam or two nights before the exam, you develop fever. You are so sick that you cannot take the exam for any university. And you lose the chance. They don't care. You say, I was sick. I know you were sick. But I'm sorry, what can I do? You didn't take the exam. You should have other chances. So I insist, I'm telling you this is important. Apply to more universities. Do we get money from you for this process? No, zero. It's free of charge, it's written here. You don't pay college, you don't pay the admission department anything for this. There are, sometimes in the past it was different, but there are other people who say, okay, pay me 100,000, 1,000 euro or 500 euro or something, I will help you. We help you free of charge. But you pay, if it is needed to pay, you pay only the fees and charges to the universities yourself. For example, Semmelweis University, I don't know how much is this year, they will tell you, like they charge $250 or 250 euros. 300. Sorry? 350. 350 for the application and examination. You're not paying us and we don't collect it from you. You pay it directly to the university and you just bring the certificate that you paid. But Prague University is asking for 20 euros, for example. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Some of the universities, they say if you pay 350 euros, you can take two times. Second time, you don't pay money. Good. Some of the universities say no, each time you have to pay. 
Some of the universities in Italy, for example, they say you don't pay to Italy, you pay to Cambridge University because the exam is being organized by Cambridge. It's 100 euro or 150, I don't know. You pay it there. So we don't charge you anything, but universities may charge you. If they charge you, they will tell you where and how to pay. You go and you pay, or you pay it here online. You don't pay us anything. You tick that you are a student of Avicenna, because we are helping also the students who are not a student of Avicenna. We call them external students. But the status is different. You are the student of Avicenna. Next time, bring me one of those excellent student cards. You put your name, you put your last name, male, female, and then you move on. And then there is the uh, list of the, some of the universities here, for example, Semmelweis University. There is medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, physiotherapy, nursing, midwifery. These are the programs which are in English. Semmelweis University has about 50, 60 programs. But not all of them are in English. Only these ones are in English. All the others are in Hungarian. You don't need that. Now, you tick. Here comes the second thing. Can I choose more than one field? Yes, you can. Can I choose medicine and dentistry and pharmacy, all the three? Yes. And physiotherapy? Yes. Is it good or bad? Well, it is good in the sense that it will increase your admission probability. What does that mean? For example, Semmelweis University, they admit every year about 50 students, 50 new students, only 50. And they admit about 50 for pharmacy, and they admit about 250 for medicine. So altogether, they admit 350 students for English language department. 350. If I choose only pharmacy, it means I am competing for 50 seats. If I choose only dentistry, I'm competing for 50 seats. If I choose only medicine, I'm competing for 250 seats. If I choose all of them, then I'm competing for sitting in one seat out of 350 seats. That's good. I increase the chance. I increase the probability. What is bad? What is bad? The bad thing is that then the university will have a little bit of free hand to choose. Say, OK, you want to go all the three? Perfect. Now. I'm not sending you to dentistry, I'm sending you to medicine. Or I'm not sending you to medicine, I'm sending you to pharmacy. We can put there one, two, three. So my first choice is dentistry, my second choice is pharmacy, my third choice is medicine, but they don't care about this. They will decide. So it's up to you again. When you have this in front of you, for Semmelweis University, you put only dentistry. Okay. So you apply for dentistry. In the exam and in the process, you are either admitted to dentistry or you are not admitted to dentistry. No other option. Up to you. You should decide about it.